Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the overclock settings I use for my ASRock AMD 6600 XT for Ravencoin and Ethereum. Let's start by installing the cards and then moving on to the overclocks and the result. Today I'm going to be installing a pair of ASRock uh, 6600 XTs into a Mining Cave 8 GPU mining rig uh, frame. This is a standard one except I'm using an EVGA 1600 watt supernova power supply. Currently there's uh, three 6900 XTs and a 6800. Uh, I'm going to first of all uh, liven up the last two PCI risers and um, I'll just unbundle the existing power cables that I've got Velcro tied up on the side here. Okay, so there's one six pin connector. There's the other six pin connector. I'm also using an eight pin to eight pin splitter. So this one will be used for powering these two cards and then I'll use another 8 pin splitter when I eventually put in two more cards over here. I keep all my spare screws in the frame so I don't lose them so I'll take out, the, take out two screws ready to put in the two new cards. Okay, so we'll slide our first card in. I found a tip on this eight one is that, um, there's quite a bit of weight that can get on these cards, so I tend to just support it from the bottom, uh, the bottom of these two aluminium strips when I'm slotting the new card, any new cards in. All right, so that's the first one in. Let's just quickly drop a screw in, hold them in place. Right, I'll just check. I'll just check. It's firmly pressed into its riser again. Right, that's one done. And now the second card. Okay, let's plug in the two 8-pin power connectors now. I've just wrapped a little bit of Velcro around things just to keep the cables nice and tidy. Alright, let's power it up. That's a good sign, the fans are all spinning. Okay, let's jump across to Hive OS and see how things look there. Okay, let's start with Hive looking at Ravencoin. So I use a simple overclock of 1060 megahertz and I find that works for all of the 6000 series AMD cards because they all have the same kind of RAM, GDR6. Uh, I have managed to use some higher values like 1070, even 1075 on some of the cards. But I find 1060 is rock solid reliable and I can leave this rig running for months at a time. When, I, when I've tried running it at high values like 1070, I get the odd card crapping out and I have to reboot. So I've just simply gone for a low value that works well. I find the cards have really good power management on their own. So I no longer bother specifying other values like uh, core voltage and things like that. So the 6600 XT it's doing um, 16 mega hash a second. By comparison, you can see the 6800 is doing 33 mega hash a second, and my 69s are also doing 33. Uh, I also use auto fan control on Raven, so I set a target core temperature of 65 degrees, target memory temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, and a minimum fan speed of 33. I find you've got to set a minimum fan speed because always when you first turn them on the cards are very cool and the fans start off at zero and then they have a little temperature spike before the fans kick in. So setting a minimum temperature of 33 just gets them going to a certain cooling level straight away. On to ETH. I also use a global overclock of 1060 megahertz and the 6600 XTs are getting around 30 mega hash uh, at the speed. You can see my 6800 is doing 62 mega hash and the 6900 XT is also doing 62 mega hash by comparison. Uh, I also use auto fans and I set a target core temperature of 65 degrees Celsius and a target memory temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. 
and I use a minimum fan speed of um, 33%. So when the rig starts up, rather than waiting for it to heat up, it goes straight away to 33%. Um, you can see, uh, now just because you select 33% doesn't mean the fans can run at exactly that speed. Um, they run it, they have step speeds. Uh, so you can see the 6600s here are actually running at the bottom end of the range at um, 31%. Okay, well I hope that was uh, useful to you so you can see what the 6600 XT can do relative to some other 6000 cards and how the really simple overclock I've got works for uh, across everything. I'm going to let YouTube pick another video that you can watch here and also leave a um, round circle for the channel so you can go and look at other videos if you want. Thanks for watching, much appreciated.